Hong Kong is the forefront of the clash of authoritarianism and democratic values. We've been talking about the resection of democracy for decades. And I think that the true reason is we fed the authoritarianism. We have been using our engagement and uh, appeasement strategies to engage with China and uh, with the hope that it will open up and democratize in the future. But the reality is it had been going to the opposite way. It gets more and more authoritarian and use its um, expansionist nature, use its uh, sharp and soft power to penetrate the protection of the democracies and to infiltrate into these countries to discredit and dismantle democracies. So for me, uh, the, the thing that is to um, abandon that wishful thinking and to really take actions to counter and to contain the authoritarianism in these countries and to help um, those people on the ground who have been fighting for democracy for their own rights and for the sake of uh, democratic values. In the battle of uh, fighting for democracy for Hong Kong, it's also crucial that how the world could contain the authoritarian expansion of China and weaken its uh, authoritarianism. So of course, uh, the, the Western democracies like the US and UK and Europe, they uh, play important role to really containing that authoritarian expansion and to ask China to fix its human rights violation internally. Otherwise, there will be more pro proactive measures by these countries. And I think this is the right direction to go. Freedom for me is uh, about having eternal vigilance towards the injustice in the society and to be able to combat it freely. For me, it is not only about what we can do, but um, our responsibility to the society and how we could help the other underprivileged in it. So for me, um, it's important that we have uh, the freedom to, um, to combat those unjust, un injustice in the society and to bring up a better world to the humanity.